Ain't no bitch bigger than me, it's Prince Bitch! Prince, bitch, prince, bitch, prince, 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 prince. Hey, so this prince bitch had a freaking bad day yesterday because the public transportation system. I'll tell you all about it. Public transportation. So yesterday I wanted to meet a friend downtown, so I go to the bus stop at like 4 o'clock, and then I check my phone, and the bus was supposed to come at 4. So I'm like, you know what? I probably missed it. Big walk, so what? The next bus was supposed to come at 4.20. That shit never came. The bus after that was supposed to come at 4.45. That shit never came. The after that, you know, I was waiting and then at like 5.15, I see that a bus is coming, right? So I'm like, okay, finally. And then I, I get my stuff ready and then I check, right? And then it says not in freaking service. Like seriously, why would it say that, you know? They got me excited. The bus driver is going that direction anyways. Why can't he just like pick me up and shit, you know? Like honestly, just because it says not in service doesn't mean I don't need a lift there. And you're going there anyways. You're freaking, they're, I swear, they're driving with a freaking empty bus, just not in service, like freaking trolling us. Like seriously. Seriously, we're not meant to be trolled. We're a society. Like, honestly, though. Like, how bitchy are they? Like, they're such bitches. I'm mean, even, I'm not that much of a bitch. Even if I had a, if I had a freaking bus and it was empty, I wouldn't just sit not in service and just walk by. I'd freaking actually pick people up, you know? Like, I'm not that much of a bitch. I'm probably, I'm a bitch, but not that bitch. That's not it. If you think that was bad, then listen to this. So the 77 took me to the subway stop, and then from the subway stop, I took the subway, and then I was sitting alone, you know, minding my own business, listening to music, looking at the window, and then, you know, after three stops, the doors open, and, you know, I see this creepy guy, and then he comes in, looks at me, smiles, and sits next to me, like, no, bitch, no, there's 15 other free seats. Why take the one beside me? Like, bitch, can't you just look and, like, choose another seat? There's 15 seats. Can't you choose what are you Rebecca Black or something like honestly I was sitting there and it was awkward right so after like five stops he just smiles at me and he just looks at me and I was really creeped out so I pretended I had to leave right so I leave the subway and I wait for the next one I waited like 10 freaking minutes and then finally I come and this one's full so I was standing for 30 minutes until I got downtown like you know how shitty that public transportation has to be for me to have an experience like that like honestly though like it's not even funny like we're society and we pay money I pay three dollars one way and you know I deserve the luxury that three dollars should bring me for three dollars if I add two more dollars I can get a subway foot long you know that freaking luxury that is luxury right there why can't I have a luxurious trip why do I have to have creepy old men buses coming late and then you know having to wait for like an hour come on that's not luxury we're not pieces of shit you know Toronto is an upscale country. I mean, it's a city, same thing. But you know, Toronto, we Torontoans just need to have a good public transportation system. We're a first world country, not a third world country. I feel like I'm in Africa, like, oh my god. Okay, so usually I think of the positive, like I'm really positive person, I'm an optimist like some people would say, but lately just like sitting there after all that shit that I've been through, all I thought is, Fuck the subway driver, fuck the bus driver, fuck the employee who made the schedule, fuck the creepy old guy, fuck the mayor, fuck my life, like honestly, like what can I do, right? So I finally got to downtown and I met my friend and then I told her the story and she's like, don't worry, you're Prince Bitch, you're the best, you know, and she made me feel good, but you know, still not really good and I told her like, you know what, I really, really hate it and she's, then she's like, you know what, stop bitching, you're such a bitch, like honestly, like when I'm with you, my mood is good, but then your bitchiness makes it bad, and then I'm like, what the hell, but I'm Prince Bitch, right, and then I went home, and then, you know, I, I was like, what the hell, right, because I'm Prince Bitch, and, like, that's what I do, right, and then I got really mad, and I had a really bad day, and, you know, stuff like that, and then, basically, everything is bitchy, like, I'm Prince Bitch because I'm a bitch, not because everything's supposed to be bitchy, like, no, bitch, no, that's not how it's supposed to be, you know, like, honestly, the, I, I swear to God, I want to sue the TTC, and the wire team because they're freaking horrible and they're ruining my life by the way the TTC is the Toronto Transit Commission and the wire team is the York Region Transit they're the two areas right beside my house and they're the two buses that I take and they're fucking horrible I swear they're fucking my life watch for a lawsuit bitch watch for a fucking lawsuit I'm gonna fucking sue your ass my lawyer he's Jewish you know he's gonna fucking sue you he's gonna sue your asses you know 
I'm coming for you, bitches. Yo, what up? It's me rapping. <laughs> yeah. This one is for the bitch having that big boss. Come late, no shame, I'll fuck you up. When you're driving the stop, I'll be bitching up. Got shit on your head like I'm crazy, yeah. You be ill, ill, sick, sick, might need a pill, pill. What's in that you came right on top like you will? You cold, you whore, you might be poor. Never be like that or I'll fuck you up some more. Your motherfucking dead man actually just stopped, man. When you make it late, late, hit him back again, man. That's the kind of thing that's avoidable. So yes, you watch out when you're driving home. I said, excuse me, there's a schedule guy. He said, but 77 comes at 7 o'clock. Like, bitch, please, just come on time. Is that really too much for a person? Yeah! Ha! <laughs>